so let's try to solve this question calculate the wave number for the longest wavelength for the longest wavelength transition in the balmer series what is the balmer series balmer series balmer series is the transition from anything to any 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 level to to the second level okay any higher level to the second level correct so so let us say we 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 know that our energy levels are like this so so this is e1 and let us say this is e2 this is e3 okay and this is e4 and this is e5 and so on e1 and e2 and e3 and e4 and e5 right okay now what happens balmer is is the the final destination for balmer is always this right this is always this here it always has to come here now it can come here in so many ways right it can come here from the third right it can come here from the fourth it can come here from the fifth or it can come here from infinity say say which lies somewhere here which is zero right it can also come here from there <clears throat> this is all balmer series right now we know the relationship that 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 e e n minus e2 is equal to h nu correct e n minus e2 is equal to h nu where n is greater than 2 strictly right now they want the longest wavelength so the longest wavelength corresponds to longest wavelength implies shortest frequency is it not shortest frequency why that because c is equal to nu lambda so so lambda so so nu is equal to c upon lambda if this is the longest this has to be the shortest okay if this is shortest if if this is shortest the energy difference between the two has to be the least now amongst them which transition has the least amount of energy change the 3 to 2 okay so so you understand the logic longest wavelength implies the shortest frequency and shortest frequency implies the smallest energy change the smallest energy change energy change we see that and and that implies that n has to be 3 get that so n is 3 <coughs> n is 3 fine so i have to find out e3 minus e2 is equal to is equal to h nu whatever nu is that now, now nu uh, as I see is c upon lambda. So h, this is uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, so e3 minus e2 is h nu. Now that is equal to h c upon lambda. <coughs> Corresponding to this lambda, they ask us. For the wave number wave number is is for whatever whatever wavelength you are talking about the reciprocal of that one upon lambda that is the wave number do we get that that's the wave number so I have to find one upon lambda so one upon lambda actually becomes one upon lambda becomes e3 minus e2 upon h c right now what is e3 how is my en represented 
in terms of electron volts but but then i have to convert it into joule so what what is it represented in terms of of the of 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 joules minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules correct so what is the value of e3 en is this upon n square correct so i can find out e3 minus e2 no so this is minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 upon 3 square minus minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 upon upon 2 square okay that into 1 upon hc correct 1 upon hc now what is that equal to so if i take out 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 and 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 this divided by h is what 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 okay into 3 into 10 to the power 8 into 1 upon 9 minus 1 upon 4 it's not it's not this it is it is minus 1 upon 9 and plus 1 upon 4 right now what is that equal to let us let, let's let's do that calculation right so fine let me take out the calculator so so this is the calculator fine so i have to do 2.18 okay into 10 to the power into 10 to the power no it's taken something else so so hold on I, i'll just do the numerical manipulation 2.18 uh, divided by 6.6 .6, that gives me this divided by 3 gives me that so it is it is point one one so so point so hold on so it is point one one and what is this this make it this makes it this makes it sixteen right plus thirty four minus eighteen so so that makes it six plus sixteen and minus eight so that is that is into ten to the power eight into what is this equal to this 9 minus 4, 9 minus 4 upon 36, so that is 5 upon 36, isn't it? So, so that actually becomes, that actually becomes 0. 0.55 upon 36, right? That is equal to so much, there's, there's something wrong, 0. 0.55 upon 36, that is equal to 0 0.05153 so so i write it as as 0 0.0153 into 10 to the power 8 I, i'll try to express it in term in, in the standard form which is 1.53 into 10 to the power 6 so it is 1.3 into 10 to the power 6 what did we find out we found out one by lambda lambda should be in meters so this is per meter get that do we understand so 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 that's what the answer will be